So I'm going over information uh, that I studied for the 220-801 test uh, for the A+. Plus. Um, uh, like I always say, um, freeaplus.com, best place to learn your A plus information, uh, I think by far. Um, and it's free, right? So that's good. Uh, video quality is awesome. So um, this is just for my uh, learning. <clears throat> It's good to uh, teach people or review what you know after you learn it. So, um, I'll do my best, go through my notes. Um, so, I learned about common ports and protocols for the A plus uh, test today. And it says ports make it possible to identify between different communication types. Um, ports work with IP addressing, um, a company called IANA, uh, they created standards. And so has assigned specific ports for uh, particular protocols. And so uh, here on the picture, you can see a lot of TCP slash UDP ports and their numbers. And you don't have to know them all for the A plus test. Um, they just go over a few. Uh, I'll name the few. Uh, FTP is a common port that uses port 20 or 21. And see if it's on the thing here we have FTP port 20 and 21 on the chart here and then we have Telnet uses port 23 so we see that and <clears throat> well I'll go over FTP it says used to upload um, or download from web and file servers so file transfer protocol so uploading downloading files from the web and file servers okay uh, Telnet uses port 23, and it's used uh, to allow login capabilities on remote hosts, as well as terminal emulation. Okay, that's that's what it's for. Um, SMPT, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, is port 25. So SMPT, see on the chart there, 25. It is used to send email messages. Okay, pretty simple, right? Um, HTTP, uh, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, right? <clears throat> and that's for the internet. It uses port 80. If you go down a little bit, you see port 80. Uh, it uses a stateless protocol that web servers and web clients, so we're the web clients and we want to get on the internet, those are the web servers that they use to communicate. So. That's port 80 for the internet. Um, you <clears throat> Next we go through POP3. All right, and that uses uh, 110, port 110. We go down to 110, you see POP3 there. Uh, used in conjunction with or without SMTP, simple, uh, simple mail transfer protocol. So to receive email from a server. <clears throat> so there's POP3 and then there's IMAP, which IMAP is a, uh, we use IMAP4 today. And it's like POP3, but it has uh, several fe enhanced features uh, that POP3 doesn't provide. So you could choose between POP3 email or IMAP email. And POP3 uses uh, port 110. And IMAP uses 143. So we go down to 143 and you see IMAP 4. Um, <clears throat> next is HTTP and S. <laughs> so HTTPS uses port 443. So we go down a little bit. 443 HTTP over SSL. So it's a, a secure connection there it says provides a secure channel using authentication and encryption so that's really good right um, DNS domain name server uses port 53 so we get a port 53 there you see the DNS and that's responsible for translating domain names into IP addresses DNS can transport either TCP port or UDD or UDP port uh, TCP used for zone transfers when exceeding 512 megabytes. So that's for DNS. <clears throat> uh, RDP, Remote Desktop Protocol, uh, uses 
port 3389 and so we go down and you see 3389 um, here says terminal server 3389 um, so it's our re uh, remote desktop terminal there so remote desktop protocol <coughs> using 3389 uh, that was in, uh, made by Microsoft providing graphical interface to another computer so you can see when you connect to that remote desktop you can connect to another computer and uh, be able to have the ability to um, see what they see on their screen. Uh, UDP is connectionless and TCP is connection oriented, meaning it is it verifies communication. So we'll go over that in, uh, in this other chart here. Uh, TCP is reliable. <coughs> Um, cause it makes sure you are connected. UDP just sends out the file and it doesn't even check to see if it got received or not. So, TCP does. Um, TCP is connection oriented. Uh, UDP is connectionless. <clears throat> Segment, uh, retransmission and flow control through windowing, no windowing or retransmission. Like TCP, if there's errors sent in the packets or there's packets missing, it will resend until it gets it correct. Uh, segment sequencing, no sequencing, acknowledgement se segments, and no acknowledgement. So it, know if it knows if it's got sent or not, and it sends an acknowledgement, <coughs> and UDP does not. <coughs> so uh, UDP supports broadcast and multicast that's something we want to know and offers enhanced performance it's faster than TCP because TCP is checking everything UDP isn't TCP guarantees delivery and a step and an established connection uh, where UDP does not <clears throat> um, going through we went through um, some of the others let's see here they, want, they named a few others. Uh, DHCP uh, uses UDP port 67 and 68. So we go to 67, 68. And you see DHCP slash bootp. And bootp is uh, legacy. So probably don't use bootp much anymore. <clears throat> uh, LDAP, LDAP, uses TCP 389. So you go on the chart, look for 389, and there's LDAP. Um, SNMP and they just named that um, SMD is another one you can look up these are different protocols SNMP is the first protocol SMD is another protocol SSH secure shell that's another protocol and SFTP secure file transfer protocol um, it says um, for the summaries um, uh, DHCP for automatic IP address assignments DNS for resolving host names to IP addresses LDAP uh, for searching directory like information SNMP for monitoring network controlled devices SMB for providing shared access to network components, SSH for creating secure channels, and SFTP for securely copying files between hosts. So that's all the information today. Keep studying for your A-plus test and uh, you'll do well. So.